What's going on, Cats fans? It's Ben Reeve here from The Hoop Show, uh, and it's Thursday, the 9th of June. Could you believe it? There's a buy this week, and there's no cats on TV. What are we going to do? We're going to put out the, uh, we're going to watch some grand final uh, replays from 2007, 2009, 2011, or maybe we'll spend some time with our families, our loved ones, things like that. Um, maybe we can do both. I don't know. What are you going to do? Uh, anyway, well, I'm going away on the holiday with my lovely partner, so that's what we're going to do. Um, you can do whatever you like, but um, but there's a bit of footy on still, uh, regardless. Cats aren't going to be on the telly, but we've got six other games to watch, uh, spread out over the five days, I believe, which is always nice. And it's always nice to get a game on a Thursday, unless you're playing in the game. Or having, sorry, spectating. Uh, I hate going to the footy on a Thursday night. Uh, I don't like that at all. I much prefer that it's on a Friday night, preferably even a Saturday. That's the way to go for me. Uh, look, we're going to be playing West Coast over in Perth. As I said, um, it's going to be a walk in the park. Let's just call it as it is. Um, they're terrible. We're middling to good, maybe. Um, we've got a host of big names coming back. Danger, Henry, maybe. Maybe Max Holmes, uh, what's his name, uh, Tom Stewart, sorry, uh, Kola Dashney's coming back, I'll probably miss someone as well, uh, we've got heaps of blokes uh, that can come back in if they're ready to go, Men and Gola may even come back as well, um, I think you'll probably get another run in the VFL, I don't think we'll hurry, rush to get everyone back all at once, um, there'll be some players itching to get back in the side and they'll be concerned that they're not playing, um, but just, you know, we're 8-4, and four. we're not travelling that bad, we had a Pretty good win against the Doggies um, when we were undermanned last week. So I don't think you're in a hurry to make some massive changes. Um, Stewart, for sure, has got to come back. And maybe you make an argument that Dangerfield's a, a first picked as well, even though we tend to go OK when he's not around. Uh, I don't know, really know where we play Danger at the moment. That's another subject, another conversation for another time. Uh, look, yeah, so we'll end up, we'll go over to Perth. We'll, we'll, we'll do the Eagles by 10 goals or more. Uh, I might have jinxed us, sorry if I have. Um, but no, we'll, we'll get the job done pretty easily. We'll get back on the plane. Um, and I just hope that we don't get carried away with the big win, which it will be a big win, um, and then lose the next week. Because we've done that twice already this year. Can we not do that again? Um, can we have a big win and then follow it up with um, maybe a fifth win in the row? I'm getting greedy. Five wins in a row. I mean, there'd be a lot of clubs out there that would take a couple of wins in a row. And we've, uh, we're, we're aiming for four, which we'll probably get. Um, and I want to. Oh, I want. I want ten wins in a row. I want to finish the season strong. I want to go undefeated all the way through the granny, and then win the grand final by uh, eighty plus. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Get another trophy in the cabinet. Uh, something for Selwood to say. Uh, thanks, Selwood. Thanks for everything. Uh, you can go off into retirement as a premiership captain. Wouldn't that be great? Geez, I am getting a little carried away. I started off getting carried away with a 10-goal win against uh, West Coast. Now I'm talking about premierships and farewells for, for Joel Selwood. Um, maybe we could bring Gary Ablett Jr. back uh, for the grand final too. That'd be great. Just a bit of nostalgia and just a bit of, That's a romantic story. Um, so anyway, I don't know what you can say about the West Coast game. You know, they've got some players probably coming back as well. Um, I don't know. It's going to be a spectacle if you like... Uh, Carnage, uh, which I imagine it's going to be. Uh, I think we'll we'll turn it on if the weather's good. If our boys have had a nice rest, um, Hawkins is due a big one. Cameron has been in our best players probably the last three weeks straight. Uh, he's killing it. He's he's making a run for that uh, Coleman medal. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're I don't think any of our blokes are a chance for Brand. There might be a few putting their hand up for all Australian. Uh, look, I'll try and do a uh, I'll try and do a um, a mid-season review and a bit of a look ahead or a preview of the back end of the season uh, when I get back from my little road trip uh, around about Monday, Monday evening, Monday afternoon. Should be back around Monday lunchtime anyway. So I want to put something out there. It might be relatively short, but um, there's plenty of other good uh, Geelong Cats YouTubers uh, out there doing stuff as well. Giuseppe uh, Tissio uh, does some good stuff as well. I'm sure he'll put something out. Uh, obviously the Chaps, Chaps, Cats boys will do something there and there's a few other podcasts going around as well Yank on the Footy and such uh, so check them all out uh, don't forget to check out a few of the other shows we've got going on we've got um, I hope I can announce this one uh no, I'm not going to say it. There's another. There's a very big name um, in the political world coming on the uh, show, on the Behind the Play show, uh, which will hopefully drop that next week. I'm not going to say who it is until it's in the can and all wrapped up. But um, yeah, it's a pretty big name if you're over 30. I'd say there's a hint. I don't know. Um, we'll leave it at that. Um, big cats fan in the, from the political world. Hopefully that's enough for you to 
get you thinking a little bit who, who that might be. Anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, I'm sure that's enough from you as well. Thank you for subscribing. If you have, if you haven't, what the hell? What's going on? Uh, those people down the bottom there, thank you very much. You've signed up in recent days or months. Uh, that's been much appreciated. No, seriously, um, sign up or don't sign up. It's fine. Um, but if you do, it really helps the channel uh, as well as a like and a comment. Uh, that can't hurt as well. I really appreciate you guys having a chat with me on the Twitter or the tweets. Um, and let's keep it going. Let's uh, hope the cats get the job done against West Coast, and uh, we'll see you uh, in a few days for some other kind of content. I don't know what it'll be, but uh, I'm sure we'll put something together. Go, cats! See you soon.